So here's a follow-up to the last video where I talked about porting housing benefits. Most people don't know that you can apply for housing in any city, any state, any county in the whole U.S. Um, it doesn't matter if you're staying here in Houston, you can apply for housing in Florida, in Denver, Colorado, in uh, Billings, Montana, wherever you can apply for housing in anywhere in the U.S. The only catch would be is people who are in um, those areas, they're always going to have a higher priority when it comes to housing. But still, you could probably get housing if you applied in a smaller city or county in Texas as opposed to applying in Houston with pretty much any um, major city that's over, I'd say, a million people. You're going to be looking at year-long wait lists unless you go through a homeless shelter or um, if you're a senior or somebody with a disability, they make make you a, a higher priority. But basically, if you are somebody, if you're not anchored to the current city that you're in, you can potentially get housing faster by applying um, in other cities, counties, and towns, and specifically uh, places where they have a smaller population. Because the bigger the population, the more demand that there'll be for housing. But um, some of these smaller cities, you're going to be able to get housing a lot faster. Um, there was one client that I was working with, and this lady, she lived in, in Bastrop, Texas, uh, or she used to, and she said that she'd be open to, to going back there if she could, and we ended up calling the, the Bastrop Housing Authority, and they had, um, you know, an open spot. Now, I don't know if that's the case now, um, but again, that's just an example of, of smaller towns, smaller counties. Um, sometimes they have open wait lists or a lot shorter wait lists. So that's just something to consider.